Right now, it's more than just mortgage rates causing stress with some home buyers. Increasing property taxes and insurance rates are also pushing up housing costs. Despite these costs, Mary Realtors say buyer activity is actually picking back up. 9 News real estate expert Lane Lyon joins us with some ways to navigate the higher payments. Lane is a realtor and managing broker at Caldwell Banker. Lane, good morning. Hey, Jordan. Good morning. Thanks for having me on to talk about this. Well, this is really important, so we appreciate you being here. Now, you say prices are up, but you say it can be surprising when you factor in all into a mortgage payment. Absolutely, there's a lot to it, yeah. and especially right now, we know that property assessments have gone up, which means higher taxes. But Colorado is also seeing some significant increases when it comes to homeowners insurance. I talked to a lender yesterday, Jordan, who said, I've given estimates to two buyers recently. In both cases, their mortgage payments were up two to $300 a month just for the taxes and insurance wow. increases okay. that we're seeing right now. You factor in uh, interest rates in the 7% range, it adds up really quick. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we know here in Colorado, we have hail, we have wildfires. Of course, that all factors into some high homeowners insurance. How much exactly has it gone up when you say that? Gosh, you know what? It's significant. I did some checking, in fact, and found out that Colorado has the sixth highest uh, homeowners insurance premiums across the country. And uh, that's behind states like Oklahoma, Florida, uh, Texas, where we know that uh, property insurance is mm -hmm. pretty high. Kara Walker from the Rocky Mountain Insurance Association also pointed me to some data that shows that over a three-year period, premiums have gone up 51%, just over three years here in Colorado. That's significant, clearly. Over 10 years, uh, the premium for the average change was 73.6%, so we've seen a lot of change over the last 10 years. She says it's best to shop around for homeowners insurance, especially if you are in high risk for fire danger. Okay. I would also add that it's a good idea to shop around for insurance early in the process, Jordan. So if you find a home, start looking for that insurance. We tend to start getting the lender going and we're thinking about our inspections and things like that. The reason is you want to know what you're getting into. I had a case recently where a house was just days away from closing. The insurance company said this house needs a new roof. Well, the buyer was beyond any time in the contract to actually oh, no. negotiate okay. that new roof. So it was a little touch and go. We figured it out, both sides compromised, but it was just a lesson to make sure you're doing your homework early on because a lot has changed in recent years. So you say when you find a home, start looking for that. Correct. What exactly does that look like? Is it the second you close on a home? Where in that process are Absolutely. We doing this? Well, really, once you find a house, the work begins. Okay. You're going to have to get your home inspection done. You're going to have to get property insurance going. Oftentimes, people wait till like a day or two before closing, sometimes a couple of weeks weeks uh, is is what you're going to need to really find out what you need. And you're talking to me because we found out the back 200 <laughs> square feet of our house didn't have foundation. Oh, good mm -hmm. times, Yeah, right? it's a super fun time. Well, you time learn the right. hard way sometimes, George. You know That's what's okay. wild, though, yeah. Lane, is even with all of this that you're talking about with these higher rates and the home insurance, the housing market, we're seeing pick up some steam. We are, and, and this is the optimism out there. I yeah. talk to realtors every day, and what we're hearing is that buyers are coming back. They've accepted that this is where we're at right now. Yeah. They still need to move. Despite higher rates, despite premiums, they're just figuring out how to make it work. Sellers, by the way, still negotiating closing costs to help bring those mortgage payments down. Okay. So keep that in mind. And some sellers are actually seeing more than one offer right now, yeah. depending on price, condition, location. We're not even to the spring selling season yet. So we're getting our arms around all of this. Do your homework, know yeah. what you can afford. But we know, Jordan, at the end of the day, that, that real estate has a longstanding tradition of being a great investor. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Next up, we got to talk about some of those buy-down rates because I feel like we're seeing a lot of that out there too. And it's still happening. Okay, the reality great. is when I say that we're rates in the sevens, you can have a rate in the fives because you ask the seller to help you buy down that rate 2% the first year. Again, options available. Uh, so you, you have to peel back the onion layer a little bit, right? You know, a couple years ago, people would say, how's the market? Fantastic, right, it's gangbusters. Right. Now we have to say, it's good, optimistic, know what you're doing, yep. and have a good trusted advisor. That'll be a little bit more strategic when it comes to that. Absolutely. Well, Lane, that's why we got you here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks we for appreciate having me on. Your time.